afternoon, it's the 7th of June 2021. Um, so last week was pretty good really. Um, I got a referral from the private gastroenterologist um, into him on the NHS so I can have some more investigations without it costing me um, all my money. Um, so hopefully that will come through. Um, I had an offer access to another house which is amazing. Um, really happy with what we've got and really lucky to be able to own a home um, having li rented for or since I left my parents house really in, in rentals and I'm 35 now so um, amazing to be able to do that hopefully it goes through. Um, I also was offered a job on Friday um, for a marketing agency and I've really been in a huge dilemma since then um, you know because can my health handle it you know I I mulled it over this weekend. I wasn't sure because the job is about is about communicating, communicating. It's about communicating. It's about being able to be articulate, to deliver the right tone of voice, communicate compl complex information to in layman's language to people internally and to clients externally. And I and I, you know, had a couple of friends over on Saturday and we went for a few drinks. I had five drinks three of those were gin and tonics so there's a bit of sugar in the tonic and I had two ciders there is plenty of sugar in ciders and then after my interview on friday i had a gluten-free donut which was the most which i haven't had that much sugar in a long time and i think it knocked me for six i, I felt pretty rank afterwards because i felt like i've just eaten like a jar of sugar which you probably did um so i didn't really feel great this weekend and then so I decided to sleep in the room with the blackout blinds uh, on my own. Ma slept in the other room. Um, and I thought I slept all right. I mean, I did wake up three or four times, but I didn't think for that long. Um, but, and so I felt I needed to sleep in a little bit this morning to about nine. Um, and then I just woke up and felt like shit, really. Um, I had tension headaches. And so I, it's now, I went to the gym for about 12 and really pushed myself 20 minutes on the tre treadmill, 20 minutes across the trainer, five minutes I couldn't do any more on the stepper just try and get rid of this some of this tension headache and think a bit more clearly um because I was just so stressed this morning thinking about this job role um I've been able to ask for a couple of other chats with people that work in the office because the interviews interviews have been over to Microsoft Teams so you can't really get a sense of what the company's like so I really don't know what to do. I don't want to push myself to the point where I'm just so stressed every day going into work that I can't do the job. Um, I'm just wondering whether I had a Mars ice cream last night. I'm wondering whether dairy is an issue because when I had fajitas middle of last week, I didn't feel great the day after. Um, I don't know what the reason was for that. But I've just had not, not had a solid, you know, like five days feeling good to know what's causing it and so that must mean that I'm so I'm so particular about what I can and can't eat you know I did have so Friday was a bit of a write-off to be honest food wise and Saturday a bit so I had a gluten-free donut then a gluten-free pizza in the evening I have been trying to avoid onion and garlic from the low food point of view recently but um, I'm pretty sure the pizza will have had onion and garlic in it um I had the whole pizza, so whether that caused any fob maps as well. My still wasn't too great Saturday morning, so whether that was, it was probably a combination of both gluten-free foods. There's probably plenty of sugar in both, all of that as well. So I'm just so confused about what to do. I'm so worried about making the wrong decision. I, if I say no to this job, um, you know how that, how is that going to make me feel? Because it's the reason why I'd be saying no to the job primarily is because of my health, because I can't, don't feel like I can do it. So I'm really, um, I'm really stressed about it. Um, it is making me anxious, anxious. My health is making me anxious, but combined with the offer. And I just don't know if it's worth it. You know, yes, it's a good salary, but if it's going to mean that I'm just unhappy all the time, then it's not worth it. Um, so yeah, I'll have a conversation today with someone from 
the company and then hopefully another one tomorrow and that'll just give me a bit more time hopefully i will feel better tomorrow you know maybe the food that i've eaten on friday and saturday is still causing me problems on monday it's not been that long really um it's good that i've been to the gym i am thinking a bit clearer so just really don't know what to do i really don't know what to do i feel so stuck you know i just want to be in a job where i feel comfortable and earning a decent amount i guess what's more important is that i'm happy and that my health returns there's no point pushing myself through things but i guess as my girlfriend said just take it you know each stage at a time so I have this conversation in the afternoon you know have a sleep have this another conversation tomorrow you don't have to make a decision until wednesday so let's just see how we go okay so that's uh, my update i'll speak to you again uh well, either later after this, after this conversation, see if I feel any better, or tomorrow. So I'll speak to you to then. I'll speak to you then. So can I be? I can't. I can't be talking and getting my words muddled up like this. And I'm just talking about how I feel, which is an easier thing to do than presenting facts and figures to big brands, of budgets, and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll carry on. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.